trying to talk in their wrestling and unpacking a grocery bag that they don't like that. So there's a company that makes vinyl grocery bags that cuts the sound down by like 90%. If you're filming a bar scene and people are trying to talk while there's pool playing in the background, it's too noisy. We had to come up with a solution. We painted racquetballs. Much better. The sound man is not annoyed with my ball sack. The needle goes into the syringe. There's a tube with a spring in it. So that makes the needle pop right back up. You can put liquid into the syringe and it'll go up into the handle of the plunger. Doesn't hurt a bit. All right, I know what you're thinking. These can't be real. And you're right, they're props. They're molded off of real ones. They're made out of a dense foam. I also have a silver set that I used in Friday Night Lights. And when we're doing a stunt, we have a soft floppy foam rubber version in case you gotta pop somebody on the head. Our barbed wire is fake. We have finely cut strips of rubber glued on to twisted wire about every 18 inches. So that way when an actor's crawling through a fence, they won't yell ouch and blow the tape. There's lots of different kinds of fake ice. This is the rubber ice. The rubber ice is made out of a product called Silly Glass. Rubber or silicone ice is my favorite because it floats. The sound man likes the rubber ice as well. Listen, you don't hear anything. We have rock salt. We use that for like mass quantities, like a fish market, um, a big cooler, that sort of thing. As a prop master, sometimes we'll have a scene where an actor has to be bound with duct tape or have duct tape over the mouth. If you use real duct tape, it can pull the hair off your arm. It can leave a rash. It can cause massive skin irritation, even take some skin off. We use two inch sensitive skin paper tape. You roll out your duct tape and then you carefully apply the paper tape. Then you grab a ruler and you trim it out. And when I tested it on my arm, you don't feel a thing, it just pulls right off. Again, you never want to put real duct tape on an actor. It's risky business. Sorry, I couldn't restrain myself. A bad joke was bound to happen. <laughs>